Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. Topic of this video is the importance of beauty in this world. As you can see, I'm coming to you from one of the most beautiful places I know. Is my little piece of heaven. And a top secret kind of location. And I found out somewhere around early 2019 or 2020 all this drama going on in the world it is much easier to kinda show people what you've been up to as opposed to um, trying to make a video as you do it you know like say for example this little area right here is something I've been working on and had some help but it's better to show the whole thing afterward than be like okay this is it in progress yeah 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 because you know you just get more stuff done so I've got a lot going on and I haven't been showing you all that but back to the topic of the video right beauty beauty now what the fuck does a dude like me know about beauty a lot a lot <laughs> and uh I'll tell you 100, 200, 300, 1000 percent a world that is not beautiful is not worth living in. Think about that. A world without beauty is not worth living in. What is beauty, right? What is what is beauty? And I can tell you right now, y'all, this is going to be one of them rambling videos till I run out of space on my phone. <sighs> what is beauty? Well, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You know, what I think is beautiful, you may not find so beautiful. That's really because you got bad taste, but so they say. So they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I can tell you one thing. I'm 40. And if you're younger than me, like say, a millennial or younger, you might not know very much about beauty at all. You may know a lot about propaganda and Hollywood and the music industry and all of those ugly things. <laughs> what do you know about beauty? Do you think the spectacle on the stage is beautiful? Or is it just like some carnage you can't take your eyes off of? Do you young people even know? I think you're too young to have actually witnessed the world when it was beautiful. Because I'm like the last part of that generation. I'm like one of the youngest parts of Generation X. You know that generation, that come home after dark generation? 
go play. Come home when it gets dark, generation. Go ride your bike. Go hang out with your friends. Come home when it's dark. You see, I was part of the generation that just started to see the perversion creep in. And crap, it did. Crept it did. And now shootings every day. Abductions, murders, missing peoples, rapes, throwing acid on faces. All these hideous fucking things crept into my world. At yours. And now they're talking about a new normal. People cover their faces. Take substances into their body that alter their DNA. That's some ugly stuff. But you wouldn't know it, right? If you did never see that other... That old world. You know those old people that all got sent to nursing homes and neglected and died and then the whole shut down and more of them died. And that old world that those old people made, I grew up in. You know? Those old guys and old gals out there landscaping their yard keeping it nice. Making sure the bees were about the butterflies and the hummingbirds and the birds in general and you know it wasn't all grass and bullshit you know a world without beauty isn't worth living in and uh I think guys in general are just like detached from from beauty and women don't generally nowadays have a good understanding of what beauty is. It is feminine linked. Although, I mean, as you can see, as you could see, some guys can possess a degree of beauty. I mean, <laughs> obviously. But um, it's not exclusive to women, is what I'm trying to say, is that men, it's like this, when they break the sexes apart, like in high school, and they're like, alright, you guys are all going to play football, and all this shit, and you girls are going to cheerlead, and whatever. It like, keeps us from... I guess developing an understanding of the other part of society like I, I see a really disgusting habit of, of like buddy fuckery among men it's just like guys always trying to one up each other <laughs> it's so hideous I said I, I was uh, pretty much raised by um, my mother, who had to basically be a mother and a father figure to me both because, well, I guess somebody wasn't up for the job and isn't that so common? Like, at least half of us in the general population, regardless of race or whatever, um, have like these fathers that are just not up to the job. <laughs> and even like mothers and stuff but the, ren the men run amok when the women aren't strong that's like what you see in cultures uh, the first thing they do is try and like put masks on the face of women and can basically belittle the women and you ever see how women men react around a woman or how women react around a um 
a real decent woman who, like, treats other women with respect instead of trying to be, like, this queen bee, like, bullshit. Like, a woman who gets along with other women and just how men react to that. You see the kind of tactic as to why they try and squash the womanly beautiful strength of, of women in a culture before they steal the minds of the men it's so important I mean it, if you think that this is all big bang evolutionary fucking chance you're just a retard point blank period this was created you know, every plant has its own time to bloom and characteristics of what type of environment it thrives in and what fruits it produce and someone made it that way someone created it that way Do you ever really look at how the feathers grow on a bird? Yeah, this is kind of random, but it's beautiful. The wind blow is just so gentle. And they say a storm is coming today. And how can you hate the rain? These people that don't like when it rains. No water, no life. <sighs> A world without beauty isn't worth living in. Sometimes I get real dark in my mind to dark places and I cease to see the beauty because I'm blinded by my own thoughts and paranoia and I go to a very dark place and I gotta wonder if this isn't like some people's like normal state of mind but I was in that place recently and uh, fortunately the mothership came home for a while and helped me out. But um, you know it's like you could be surrounded by people and be totally 